Oh, are you like no? Okay, skip to the chorus. Wait, what is it? Oh God. Well, welcome back, everyone. Hi. 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 Welcome to the Luxion Group chat. I've got Steph next to me on this side. Oh it's our got... first one with Steph. I, I know it is. is. Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course I think it is. I was always behind the camera with you guys. Oh, it is. Yes. 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 I thought maybe yeah. we'd done one together, but I can't remember. Maybe not. Oh, oh. That's one. And for those listening, we've also got Millie and Judy. Hi, guys. It was a bit of a long time. Co- like, we were trying to think when the last time yeah. we were yeah. in the actual studio was. the last time we did a pod was Mark Jacobs. Oh, but yes, the last time we were in... The studio was March. Was it? Yeah. Stop. It was a I felt like it was March. a minute ago Friday. together. Yeah. But it's good to have you guys. Have a little catch How up. was your holiday? It you was were so lovely. Thank She's you. Going. I honestly mm. think it's such a hack to go a bit later in summer because Definitely. when it gets awful weather like it is mm, at the moment, it's 100%. actually really nice to have just been in the sun. Mm-hmm. This town's not going to last very long, but it, you're I feel, glowing. I feel... And I also feel like you miss the, like, the tourist rush. That's so true. so true. And you still get the good weather, but yeah. it's like more chill. Exactly. Yeah. And let's be honest, it's like a lot cheaper. Yeah, it really is. It's like a lot cheaper. How about you guys? Have you been on holiday? Went to South France. But again, it was like the perfect time, like middle of September, Mm. end of September. And the weather was still great, but it was like quiet. And it was just just lush. One of my tips for people in their 20s Mm -hmm. is travel. Yeah. Like Mm -hmm. the best thing I did was after uni was I went traveling. What were all of us doing? I want to say like when we were 21, like where was everyone here when they were 21? I don't think I'd finished uni yet. How did we finish uni? Did you finish uni at 22? I don't think I did. I hadn't finished either. I did four years. So I feel like I would have finished at like 22. I feel like maybe I was like second or third year of uni. Yeah, I I was doing a placement year. Same. So I was on my placement year when I turned 21. I remember that anyway. Where was your placement? In London at Hackett, which is a men's work. That's where I met my boyfriend because that's where he works now. Of course. Yeah, I was still at Nottingham Trent doing fashion marketing and branding. What about you? I think I was just about to go to New York. I was just <gasps> finishing uni oh and going to New York. I keep forgetting that you yes. lived your best life there. I know. Oh, my God. Yeah. Would you say, like, travel or, like, move somewhere and work I somewhere? I think move. I think it depends on what kind of person you are. Yeah. Because I don't think everyone wants to move. I, yeah. don't, I think sometimes people just aren't excited by that. Yeah. But if it's, like, three months travel, six weeks travel, 100%. or completely move for, like, mm-hmm. a year or two, yeah. I think it changed me as a person mm. for the better. Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> but I feel like just opportunities, um, just even... Like stuck into other cultures, yeah. opening yeah. up my mindset. Because I f- feel like even though where I'm from is like gorgeous and mixed, I feel like it's so nice to get into a busy, bustling 100%. city, yeah. a melting pot when you're young. I saw this actually podcast and it was talking about live in a big city while you're young because that's where like you learn so much for your work. You yeah. know, you're around people that are real grafters and there's this like buzz around yeah. and you're like, you get onto this vibration where you're working really hard and you're putting yeah. everything in to like going out, doing fun things. Like it's always busy, yeah. busy, busy. And then you can always settle down when you get that yeah. older, you know? Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, so I think move away while you're young. Yeah. Oh, Top two. Jutes, where were you? I think I was doing placement. If you were doing placement, yeah. then it would make sense that I was also yeah. on my place- placement. So like a corporate placement job in London. I cannot what? imagine. I can't even. Yeah. 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 What the hell? Yeah. How yeah. jokes is that? How jokes to work? To work? Because I was thinking about this the other day and I was like, no, no, my cute. style of no, everything no. in my yeah. 20s. That's my another style thing. Is so Fa- my fashion sense, oh, guys. Oh my God. Also, also the fact that I studied fashion marketing in London. <laughs> I look back and I'm like, oh my God. Really? Oh. Like what? What were you wearing? I mean, I also like was a student who had no money, so yeah, like, same. Yeah, it's yeah. different. Like, you just like battered. Like, I used to wear this like one pair of like battered old Converse out like every single night. Yeah. But it was just, I, I can't even describe it's like bandeau dresses and like. Yeah, oh. I feel like our era was very much disco pants, peplum. Yeah, like bandeau. Top. It was when mini. What was that? Who was did tight. the disco pants? Oh, American Outfitters. Yes, yeah, that was cool. American. Apparel. American. Apparel. American, Apparel. American Apparel. Yeah, they were it. Yeah, and the body suits as well. Yeah. That was an era. Really yeah. was. So and, now, and now we've evolved. Big scrunchies. I know. Now we're such girly Bomber pops. jackets. Yes. Like this Honestly. But I wonder like in like another 10 years time if we'll look back at 30s and be like, what the fuck? Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. I, I, find like, 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 now, like, I finally found my style. Yeah. Mm. I don't know if I have like another era of like change. Well, this is or... my thing. I, I always say this because I think there's such a thing out there of like, find your style, find your three yeah. words, find mm. your thing. And I'm like, well, it What's wrong with yeah. it changing? Yeah. Yeah. You're in different so parts true. of your life. You learn new things. Yeah. You see new things. You're inspired 100%. by new things. Like just 
it's so fine to be flexible. And also there's um the YouTubers, you know, Julia and Hunter. Yeah, they, oh, she, love they them. always say that they like, when they go on holiday, they dress for yes, where they're going. Cool. So then their style oh. always changes, yeah. like depending on where they're going on holiday. Mm-hmm. And I thought that's quite nice. Yeah. That's really that's nice. That's really nice. Okay. How are they these days? Do you, I haven't watched you know, them haven't for like watched... six months. Yeah, I was, obs- I used to watch them religiously. People <laughs> used to be like, but they're not doing anything. I was like, but I love well, that. No, it's just like she got pregnant, right? Yeah, she and did. Fair, it's not that I don't relate, but I just kind of yeah. like switched off from that. Yeah, it's not really the different stage of, of like, your life. Yeah. Yeah. But then someone that I will always watch, no matter what she's doing, is Isabella. I, mean, yeah, yeah, I will always, like she Would did um, Vloggers, like yeah. we did. And yeah. I literally was like glued. Like she's just never going Isn't it anywhere. so funny how you find like your It's a comfort process, isn't it? Yeah. That you like always go back to. Yeah. I love yeah, comfort definitely. people. Yeah. yeah. It's so sweet. Before we get into the hot list, guys, what's everyone wearing? Do you, do you want to go first? <sighs> okay. I have got a um, khaki trench on from Nobody's Child, which I'm loving. It's a great Such trench. Such a nice um, color. I've got my vest is actually my worst behavior vest, but I've just turned it back to front. It's just so innovative. Yeah. <laughs> um, my belt is Primark. My jeans are Levi's. And then my shoes are Adidas Wells Bonner, great, shoes. and I like these because so cool. um they don't have like the tongues. They don't. Yeah, the yeah. I didn't realize yes, they I, did. I agree. The ones without the tongue. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I was saying to the girls that I was actually supposed to keep them in the box until I could figure out five ways to wear them. No, they're um, a good shoe. You so literally to... on the train here, I was thinking you can wear them with this and this and this, <laughs> and this, and this fine that you put them on like your you feet can already. Wear them with a lot. Yeah, I think it's any like simple kind of outfit, yeah. just Jazz throw them up. on. Plus, I'm going pop. to Amsterdam next oh. month for my birthday, so I can't wait. Okay, Steph, watch out. <laughs> what I'm wearing? Okay, so jumper is Reformation. Cute. Love. Then I have satin trousers from Abercrombie. Nice. Oh, I think that's Abercrombie. And my tea underneath, I think, is Uniqlo, best for a tea. Okay. Yeah. I'm wearing heels today, guys. Oh, love it. Love it. White pointy heels. Yeah, Who it. am I? Usually Gosh. I'm a little bit of a sneaker girl, but yeah. That's and the outfit today. Oh, earrings from, from Gab's look. Very my friend's nice. brand. Oh, Irish they're design. great. So good. Based Cute. in London. Love a little two-tone. Love so good. Mm. Yeah, so many two-tone yeah, over here, yeah. babe. Yeah. Where are yours from? Yeah. These are heaven, heaven made. Yeah. I was going to say they do. Yeah, same. Yeah. Love them. So nice. And the rest of the fit? The rest of it, this is a Topshop jacket. Love this. Love this colour. Such a nice colour. I said I was going to wear more green. Yeah. These trousers, every time I wear these, I don't know where they're from. I think it's Stradivarius or Bershka. Mm-hmm. They've yeah. got the like turn up yes. waist situation. Yes, like and that. this is from H&M. And it wasn't really meant to be with the outfit. It was more just to keep me warm. Cute. But it's Cute. a good one. It's a thin little Love it. Nice. Um, situation. And then my H&M um, elf shoes, I like elf to call shoes. them. Love them. They're great. Um, um, what are you wearing, Han? I'm wearing, this is an old Cardi from H&M. Very nice. These are my new barrel leg Love. jeans. Love a barrel jeans. Yeah, I'm right in the trend from ASOS. My little pointy boots are also ASOS. So good. And then my belt is from Hush. Lovely. Love. Well, let's move on to the hot list because let's do it. did you guys hear that the Victoria's Secret <gasps> Fashion Show is yes, back? It's coming back. I, I can't believe no. it was gone for that long. I know, but like, oh. didn't feel like it was that because I went to one of the shows. <gasps> did you? <gasps> Sorry. This is giving like I was meant to be in the music video. <laughs> <laughs> <That's amazing. laughs> and you know, because they then used to like stream. I was like, sh- like in the audience, like panting. Wait, 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 the London take us back. Take mm-hmm. us back. The what London the one. So I was, I think, second year of uni. This is what, like two thousand and. 14, 15? Oh my yeah, gosh. Uh, I think it is around there. I, I think That's it was through story. uni. Like, I oh. either like won a ticket or got like selected or something. That's, That's such that is so insane. Insane. My friend from uni went and it was, it was, yeah, pretty mad. Okay, I mean, what did you wear? Yeah, first good question. Actually, Can't looking wait. back, I was like, I don't actually hate what I wore. Okay, well, I just it? wore like a long white like maxi dress with like long sleeve and had a, like a cut oh. out I think here like an Sweet. angel um <laughs> see an angel oh. re-channel the energy <laughs> um but yeah crazy but like when you said it was like it's been it felt like no time's gone yeah, yeah. Mm. but what is it but 10 years 10 years yeah. 10 I thought it was only 5 wow oh, oh, since like, then. Look oh since then yeah 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 oh, sorry I thought it was since they last did it but no, now but that's yeah. even been like six years. Six years. Five, yeah. six years. Yeah. But even like now looking back and the reason why it stopped and everything, mm-hmm. like it was absolutely bizarre. Wild. Like, but like yeah. Yeah. And it and it was I think it's so right how they mm-hmm. they stopped it and yeah. I think have like gone away as a brand and like figured out yeah. like who they want like more inclusive and more diverse, I feel. Yeah. Well, yeah, if you look, you look at like Rihanna, yeah. Yeah. Venti, yeah. like every time they do a show, that is like so the good. gold standard yeah. of like diversity, like different 100%. ableism. I think they, like, she powerful. came in with Fenty and I think that's what made people realise yeah. Yeah, it shook Victoria's Secret yeah. 
is is setting very unrealistic standards yeah. of Absolutely. body well, image. You watch like the pre, like in the in the show, you'd have like those like BTS things yes. of them like auditioning or like who's going to make it this year and like the I pressure they put on themselves. The pressure, but it was like really clear that it was like a size thing. Yes, yeah. well. very much. And so. then, like Gigi Training. walking up and down, like yeah, I've been doing all this exercise yeah. and I've been eating, but like it's so bad mm-hmm. yeah. that like what they were putting out there. And to be honest, we've. I've seen like a few teasers and things and who's mm. going to be in it, but I've not, obviously none of us have seen what it's going to be. Yeah. So I really, know. I'm really like, hopefully this is actually going to be different. Yeah. And it's not just I mean, it intrigued. would be crazy to, for it to not I be mean, different and inclusive. Surely. Think, surely. Yeah. Like, but what is, like, I but know. at the same time, all I've seen is Gigi Hadid. This is what I mean. Tyra, Tyra Banks. Banks. Oh, have they released names? Oh, well, they've, they've done on TikTok. Teasers. Yeah. Because yeah. what have they been doing? Like random... I feel oh, like it's no. just the big models. Like yeah. there's nothing really different in regards to really? you know, people that are in, in different shapes and all of that. I'm do you ages think, as well. Do you think yeah. even if they do come back and do it differently, yeah. do you think that will change the brand image as it should be? Or do you think people are still very much like, I don't like, you know when you have a yeah. fixation of what, how a brand is? Possibly. I feel like I'm always amazed when a brand rebrands. Yeah. They, when it's done successfully, it can really work. 100%. So it could work, but I feel like if they're coming back with a catwalk show, it's very much similar to what they've done before. Mm-hmm. I yeah. think they could have done something completely different. Mm. I think we'll have to see it like across their brand. It's one yeah. thing to do like, yeah. a performative yeah. show and be like, yeah, we've changed. Mm. And then if you look at their site and all their models look the same, yeah. they're, all yeah. so true. they're all blonde, they're all skinny. Like, it's mm. not going to... Because to be honest, I've not even really... I've not even like looked to see if they have started implementing that no, change like I on haven't. their site and stuff. I, I, I haven't. I definitely have seen a few more like not stick thin models, mm-hmm. I think. And obviously when they run their campaigns within like the influencer industry, yeah. I do think that is a bit more diverse than it has been. That is all I've seen, to be honest. Mm-hmm. I haven't seen loads. Mm-hmm. It'll be interesting to see, won't it? Yeah. I'm and is it back. Cher that's performing? No way. Is it? Yeah. I'll be down for that, oh, to be fair. Their vibe. performances are always fair, so yeah. good. That was, to be fair, out of all of the shows, like yeah. that is the thing that I actually really yeah. love yeah. watching. Do you remember when The weekend was performing and Bella Hadid yes. walked oh, by? See, that's what I How many times yeah, yeah, did I watch yeah. that video? Oh, I'd so like to know. Oh. And she did the little sassy thing because they'd yes. just broken up. Yeah, they had oh, just broken up. Yeah, that was a great time for social media. Yeah, it was good TV. Yeah, it was great. In other news, have you guys seen that like viral glossier PR package that's yes. been going around. Yes. Have you guys seen what it is? Like, no. Tell me. Yes. Yeah. It's, new, it's a fragrance, perfume, right? Yeah. yeah. So basically what it was is they sent this box with like a lock on it and you don't get the key or like the code or whatever to open it until the, like a certain time. So it just kind of created this Genius. buzz around mm-hmm. the product. And then the new product was, you know, they have their fragrance. Yes, I love that fragrance. fragrance. Yes. So they've added another to the range, <gasps> basically. So that's wow. what it was. Which I think is so smart. Like a bit of a story, so a bit of fantasy, yeah, exactly. a bit of theatre. I love that. I love yeah. that. Yeah. Have you guys seen any cool campaigns or things that you're loving at the moment? So I saw a couple. So the first one was Allo did like a wellness event during yes, Fashion Week, yeah, yeah. which I thought was quite nice because it kind of breaks through yeah. all the typical like fashion heavy stuff. Yeah. It was very like you could get sound baths, cryos, like facial like Yeah, because I think some of our team got it. Yeah. Did they go? Yeah. I didn't get a chance to go, but it looked really, really good. So I thought that was quite nice. Depop and Gabriette. Oh, I've not seen them. Yeah, they love did her. a drop. Depop have basically been doing drops with like celebrities mm-hmm. or stylists. That's really cool. Um, That's really clever like that. So yeah, mm. that was a really good one. And then another one that I saw that's just gone out because um, I saw some PR packages go out. Um, the Frankie Shop and Barbie. Mm. Barbie have been working with like quite a few brands I mean, yeah, this year. Like, yeah. Why the movie like came out and like... Ages, ages ago. ago. I, don't, I mean, what I guess it? it's just... It? Yeah. The summer before. No. Wow. It was this year. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Because no, was this I, was Brad's summer it. and last summer was yeah, Barbie yeah, summer. Yeah, it was. You're right. And I watched it really late as well. Where has it been? I know. It's so know. scary. But they've just done a collection together and it's actually, it's, I think it's not, black, bright, it's not bright pink, is it? It's not very pink. It's shop. not bright pink, no. but it is. They've got the Frankie Shop blazers in a burgundy, and I can't tell. Oh, nice. Um, oh. It has like a when you roll it up. I think the under layer is pink, but I can't tell whether you can just wear that mm, plain. Nice. But they've got like a burgundy cap with like some Barbie font on the front, and like a white tee with a small like design there. So it's pretty neutral, mm. other than the bright pink under roll, right. which mm. I can't tell whether you can just cover that up. Mm. But as far as the burgundy goes, that's obviously really yeah, that's at the cool. Moment, so yeah, nice. It's a nice color to launch with. The one cool. the collab even that I like was I think it was genius Melissa's wardrobe blank street <gasps> yes. I still need to try yes. this I was gonna go to so. I that is just like a masterclass in mm. how to do yeah 
a really good like collaboration and campaign. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It's everything's just been so authentic yeah, and like yeah, yeah. E, like it's just so her. Yeah. And like her taking Stormzy to try it, it was just, it was just oh, so I was literally dead at when he was like checking with an, his nutritionist whether yeah. he could have it. He's just sat oh, there. You know like, when you get the kids when you tell your kids to like not touch it and you leave them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wait oh for him to call God, back, and he's like, so "You can have it. We'll just because obviously he takes his training like really right. serious. Very yeah. seriously. So he was just waiting for a callback. That is <laughs> hilarious. Yeah, so he was like, Yay. <laughs> oh my God! I never know how to say it. You know, is it Desi Girl? Desi Girl. I know what you're saying. Oh yeah, Desi Girl. Desi, Desi girl. <laughs> I don't know how to <laughs> say what it. Is. Um, with that brand yeah. they did a collab with Amelia Gray so you know like Lisa Rinna like her yeah. daughter yeah. and it's like just her looking really hot with like a load of cats around her I feel like it's quite on brand though isn't it it's oh so my god she's such a cat woman she's vibe. such oh my yeah. god it's so cute the other one I saw that. was the um, Gucci's doing a new campaign. So they've got this new bag. I don't know if it's new, but they're like pushing it. You know how like the Jackie was being pushed? Yeah, like, their luggage was being yeah, pushed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now there's this other one called the Blondie. Ooh. And they've got like some like slightly older, like classic um, actors and stuff in it. It's oh, really cool. cool. That's fun. Yeah, I love that. They always do really great like yeah. activations. I they? feel like Gucci and Loewe get like the best people for yeah, that. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. so true. Um, was it Daniel Craig Loewe? Was that recently? Yes. Yeah. So yeah. good. What about you, Steph? I loved the campaign, the new, I mean, I always love it, but Emily and Dora has oh, just yes. such their AW. Oh my God. Everything yeah. they do, I feel like they really were a blueprint for like a new way to yeah. do campaigns mm-hmm. as well. Like a lot of brands are copying. They're just like yeah. the yeah. black the background, yeah. the full aesthetic yeah. because it's just such it's a good so one. Good. They just have like really good stylists and yeah. creators. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's, so like, cool. it's so rare that you can have such a simple campaign. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And just make it look that cool because yeah. the styling is so cool. It's, it's so like good. the layering so and like yeah. the way they put things together. It's so like, clever. It's so oh, there's clever. just like this tartan scarf popping in a few of the pictures. Ooh. You know, you just need it. There's like this skull Sorry. jacket. It's like racer blue one. I'm like, I just want it. They it's just, just so make cool. it look yeah. so yeah. desirable. Yeah, love that one. Mm-hmm. Um, did you also see that the Caperni show in yes. Paris was at Disneyland? Disneyland. And then Kylie, Kylie. 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 No. Freaking and then Jenner. Kylie, Kylie just struts down. Oh, guys, like, she kind of ate. She did. She kind of yeah. ate. It was so funny. She there was a, so something popped up early. You know that trend ages ago and it was mm. like the two sides and her and Kendall did it like supermodel, yes. like Instagram oh, model. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they, they posted a video today. It was like her walking but then running off to like Instagram model and then it's a picture, um, a video of her like walking down the Walk, then like she's made it. Like oh now she's a super model. She was she really was good. good. Yeah, she, she was good. She was yeah. really good. Like honestly, I was so impressed. Like she's just got this presence about yeah, her. Like she, she always has. She's always been like quite a confident girl. Yeah. But she's really. really I feel very good. like she's like come back into her own. I feel yeah. like for a few years she was very under the radar. Yeah. Whereas. I mean, even on like, I don't mean I love keeping up the Kardashians, but she's mm-hmm. she's so funny. Yeah, she's so funny. hilarious. And I've she like missed my favorite. I think it's like she she had her kids, and I feel like she took a break, not because it was like I've got kids, I can't be on like, but I think it was a bit like I just want to live in the moment yeah, and be valid. there. And I think now she's like found like yeah. herself a bit more, 100%. and now it's like oh, I'm back. And yeah. also, have you seen that she's been with Jordan a lot more recently? Yes, yes. I like, have. Yes. They've rekindled. Yeah, I don't, like, I don't, don't know how I feel about that. I don't know how yeah. I feel about that. I feel like they've they've been friends for a while, but yeah. it's just she didn't want yeah, to. How can you? I know what you mean. You know, like, I know. Well, for those listening who maybe don't know the backstory, I'm yeah. sure you do, unless you're yeah. like, mm. rock. <laughs> But um, obviously, how long was ago was it? Sorry, Five oh, years ago. Well, six now. Obviously, there was there was a lot of stuff going on with Chloe and Tristan. He yeah. cheated on her multiple times. Mm-hmm. But one of the like key ones, which was a huge like it was a deal breaker. It was it was, no, it was massive. Was that even a deal breaker? No, it was. It was there was two more after. Yeah, yeah, this was yeah. the yeah. first was one. There was two more after that, and then he got someone pregnant. But anyway. The, <laughs> the first <laughs> the first time he cheated on her well that we know anyway yeah. was with Kylie's best friend Jordan who was obviously I'm like a sorry. very big part I'm of the sorry. show it's no. so bad it's so close they to Chloe so well. much in I that family yeah. Yeah. I honestly don't know how they what, do I'm it I'm all for what like demons to give these people yeah. Yeah. moving on for yourself yeah. 100% but like then letting that person back, back, back in your life. Back in time time. Time. Crazy. I don't like can you oh, no know. chance it must just like obviously none of us have kids I Maybe it's different because they share a child and, like, you've got to just no, push no. through. I think the Chloe and Tristan, I'm like, I understand. That's the father of your Fine. child. You mean Kylie, but yeah. I mean Kylie and yeah. Jordan. Just kind of, yeah. I imagine, don't I don't have siblings either, but obviously I can imagine, like, if I had a sister, 
No. And my best friend got mm. with her mm. husband, baby daddy. Oh, yeah. so done. I that could never. So yeah. I could done. never. You Especially because she went on interviews about it as well. Like she went on the great. red table. Mm. Like she yeah. fully blasted about it as well. So yeah. no, I think it's insane that they're friends yeah. again. Yeah. It's so insane. I know. I could Crazy. never. Crazy. I mean, you just never know what's going on behind the scenes, the real stories, yeah. the whatever, yeah. what they have on each other. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. maybe just enough time passed that, like, everyone was happy. Chloe was happy. Tristan's yeah. whatever. They've got a great relationship. And it was like, let's just put it to bed. Yeah. Can't relate. Can't yeah. Relate. <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys following the Sabrina Carpenter tour? Yes, short yeah. and sweet. Like bits, like bits. Yeah. Oh my God, she's just something else. She did she's well a little icon. Sorry. She's a little she pop well star. Does. I don't know if it's well tall. I hope it is because I would love to see her in the UK. I think I've yeah. only seen America dates, but she's just killing it. Like, you know how her whole thing for a very long time was her nonsense um, outros that she does? Mm-hmm. Yes. So she like ad libs like the last verse yeah. and yeah. like makes it up on the spot. So she's like basically put them to bed. Mm-hmm. She's like, I just cannot be bothered to do it anymore. So like in the first <laughs> um, show, it basically like came to the point she's gonna do it and like the stage went dark and like she basically it was like it was malfunctioning yeah but she went like into the stage she and pretended just to, like, like her mic wasn't working exactly. and she's like oh sorry can't do it yeah exactly but now oh, instead have you seen the thing she's doing no. instead so her song juno have you guys heard it if you haven't it's so I've good seen, it's okay. it's yeah, yeah, oh one. yes i've seen it's this. basically the one you know juno the movie juno yeah. Yeah. the whole song is like i like About you so that. much why don't you make me like juno basically like Get me pregnant. Getting pregnant. Got yeah. you. Got you. Um, but the song, it, like, it's such a cute song, and it, there's this bit where it's like, what is it? What I think words? it's like, have you ever tried this position? Oh, this position. And mm. so every night she does like a different position on stage, yeah. like a sex you, position. Can you imagine doing that? I know. It, but she your looks parents so in the crowd. No. She looks so hot. I like, mean, she does. She's just fine. And we love her. Yeah. Oh my god, I could never. <laughs> it's, like, it's like being on Love Island doing all the challenges. Oh yeah, no, my no, god, no, I no, always no. think that no. I could no. never do could that. Never. You know, they do that with very little music as well. Yes. Yeah. I don't know why, but they always come out and go, that is the worst challenge because there was no music. I'd have to be have like severe feet poisoning or something. Like, I would. Yeah, yeah. there's no chance. Lose. I could just <laughs> not. Yeah. I'll send myself home. No, like, I can't. You possibly. would have to, like, agree with your parents or, like, your family or whatever beforehand. Like, just don't watch that episode. But can you I'd be also really shy. It's not even the fact that like I would do it and be good. Yeah, 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 that's the issue. It's like I it would be so horrendous. (laughs) And especially if there is no music, there's just no what we're moving to. No, No, but even bigger deal, I'm not condoning like drinking to be confident, but like they yes. can barely drink yeah. it there yeah. like well. like, I would need a few shots or yeah. something to get that like <laughs> oh, no. yeah. the butt going so like Absolutely. fair play <laughs> the <butt going. laughs> yeah. get the jigger jigger so like fair play Sabrina getting out there and doing your exactly. thing oh yeah she's slow yeah. but this is, I, know, I feel like we've had this conversation a few times in the podcast but it just proves like she I saw this TikTok of this guy being like she's got this stage presence yes. because mm. she has been working at this for so long True. she's not this overnight success like mm-hmm. she's been working I, at it for 10 years I didn't know years. that I just feel like she yeah. appeared from nowhere no, no, she's a Disney yeah. girl. Yeah. She's a Disney girl. She was on shows. Yeah. She's done music for a long time. Mm-hmm. And that's why now that she's on stage, everyone's like, oh my God, but she's so incredible. Yeah, she's been yeah. doing it for a long time. All it's the Disney just girls like, just... It's also just so breed. crazy because she is just such a petite, tiny little thing mm. that like, I kind of thought that, especially when we went, like when we went to see Taylor, I was yeah. thinking, this is actually mental. Like she I'm is so one jealous. regular sized yeah. human yeah. in the middle of that stage and this whole mm. room is like more or less like under like her control she was literally doing this and pointing around the crowd and everyone's cheering i was thinking wow it is like it's, it's crazy wild, isn't it? to think that like one person can be like everyone can be obsessed Have that much with them presence so well. much and, mm. and hold a room the way these people do like, she's the same height as yeah, like, she's like this big. Like, she's the same height as all of like all of us. Like, she's not like crazy How tall. How tall is she? Yeah. I think she's literally five feet. She, she is, is five Serena, feet. Yeah. Is five Serena feet. your new tailor? No, but I've loved her for quite like before this whole espresso everything. There were a few songs that I like yeah. had on my so Spotify. I knew about her before so, yeah, espresso. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, she had like a few songs that were like quite big before. Yeah. Espresso, like, I felt espresso. like that about Justin Bieber when he. I was like, I watched him on YouTube. God. Daisy was the same. <laughs> I found him first, guys. <laughs> when he used to like do acapella in his room. Oh, oh I never watched those. No, I didn't. Think I, I fell did in love either. with Purpose, so I was not an OG. <laughs> you know? But with I love Purpose him that late. Yeah, yeah, I waited for Purpose. Oh I needed God. him to be a good guy. Yeah, okay. yeah. just like yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Something I saw that's really interesting. Brits find it tougher to talk about money problems than their sex lives, according to new research. And this was 
a campaign by oh. Interflora because basically the whole thing was like writing like notes and stuff with the flowers and it was like this whole really cute campaign. Yeah. But I think the fact of that is actually really interesting. Like, that is really mm. interesting. I mean, very like British coded. Yeah. 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 <laughs> we yeah. hate talking about I both know. of those things. But yeah. interesting that more so money. Money. But why is that? Like, I understand like no one wants to be like, I make this much money and I yeah. do this and I'm spending this much, but it's less about that and then like, more what about is like... The why? Yeah, Actually, what is, what the, is why? the why? I guess it's something... I think part of it's like not wanting to boast or not wanting yeah. to seem yeah. like you don't make enough. And it's that's also one sides, part. Both yeah. sides, yeah. yeah. But yeah. I actually do think, especially in like the creative industry. I was going to say in our industry, mm. it's so important. Yeah, I think it's I think so, so important for like visibility because you could be, you know, a small creator or you could be a graphic designer or a freelancer. Mm. And if you I actually knew the that. industry mm. standards of like yeah. what people are making, you could be making mm. more. It's so or yeah. true. You could realise that you're not making enough. It's so true. I remember when I first went freelance after being an agency mm. so I was doing like brand consultancy and stuff and I was like what the fuck I know yeah. it's yeah. my daily rate what so do rude. I charge yeah. and it wasn't until I mean I had the conversations with people who were luckily very open to have those mm-hmm. conversations yeah, which I, I think isn't a lot of people who mm. maybe you feel you could ask and talk to so I was yeah. quite lucky in that sense but if I hadn't have had those conversations I, I mean, at first I was like massively undercharging. Yeah. I'm like, what yeah. are you doing? And I was like, I think that's quite common. Yeah, yeah it's the same thing. So time. it's one of those things, isn't it? That it's an area that we need so much guidance with, yeah. especially for like freelancers or yeah. like mm-hmm. creators or whatever. Like until we got management, like, yeah. I don't know what to charge yeah. for that post or. No, for sure. So true. Yeah. But there's also the complete other side of it is like supporting one another. Like it's yeah. aside from like what to charge or how like how much money people are making, but it's also like, like how do you do taxes like i was asking you like yeah, yeah oh my god i know last week she was <laughs> yeah. like she's like mills um can i just ask you a quick question i'm just a baby <laughs> we're talking about like, we start talking about like accountants yeah and stuff, aren't which we? is so boring and so adult but it's these things that we just don't yeah, learn to. at yeah. school yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, and it's complicated it as is. well like it takes so much brain power because i'm also going through the same stage yeah. of like talking to accountants i'm literally yeah. like I know, but then if you, <laughs> if it wasn't also taboo when we like around this time mm. of our lives in your twenties and mm-hmm. stuff, like I think people would find it easier. Let's move on to the things we're loving. We kind of spoke a bit about campaigns we were loving, mm-hmm. but products, TV, movies. What have we been watching? I've watched so much TV recently. How I feel you? like I've been glued to the screen. Are you in hibernation season? I don't know. I but you know me. I don't really listen to that much music. No. I'm like a watcher. I watch yeah, podcasts. I watch it. TV, yeah, Netflix me all day, too. every day. I watch visual. Podcasts. Yeah, very yeah. visual. Perfect couple, loved it. Yeah. Loved yes. <gasps> oh no. Yeah, Wait. I, that. I need to talk about this. Oh, you're not finished. No, no. finished. No. Okay. 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 Wait, come it's on, great. No. It's white lotus. Good. White lotus. It is very white lotus yeah. coded. Silly. What do you think? I'm getting negative energy here. Mm. Ah, it's like it's yeah. just like silly. It's like a silly. I just love a whodunit. It. But I, I just think I, I know. I'm too upset in, and I'm. I'm Oh, is it? Yeah. I didn't know that. I, it's, it, it's a book at first. Mm-hmm. Right. And I've not read it, but I can imagine it's quite hard to take a book to a like, six-part mm-hmm. TV show. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I feel like, even though I haven't read the book, I feel like it's all very rushed. Mm-hmm. Fair. Yeah. I don't think it's like a serious... I think no, it's just no, a silly... Change anyone's life. Love a whodunit and just yeah. love a guessing yeah. game. Yeah, same. It's an easy watch. Yeah, yeah. Totally. And it's the same with... um. What's that BBC show that I've just watched called Apples mm? Never Fall? It's kind of whodunit you gone girly but like oh, this mum of that. this yeah. like Movie. tennis family she basically goes missing mm. and oh, they're like that's one. what's Very happened to her kind of that vibe don't know how i feel on the ending but okay. don't regret watching it okay. but it was still like good and then do you remember ages guys obsessed with that physical 100 show did i bring it up yes yeah, yeah, do you yeah. remember yeah, yeah i did didn't i, I and it this. was like loads of athletes like 100 okay. athletes mm-hmm. going to the one ultimate athlete okay, in asia yeah, yeah. <laughs> they've got a cooking version guys <gasps> That's cool. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I was so slagging cool. off my sister being like, this is a load of shit. Like, how are they going to put that format of 100 people? Cook- I'm not watching 100 people cook. End oh of. Anyway, naturally, the first two episodes it's are like quite slow. Game, but now we're in it. <laughs> yeah. Now we are in it. Oh and I'm hooked. I'm really, like, ashamed that to say that. But fun. Yeah. And That's it's got, like, perfect. Michelin chefs with mm. just really good chefs. And then you can just see. It. And I was just like, it's very cool. It's oh, very nice. cool. Oh, I definitely want to watch it. I love cooking shows. Yeah. yeah. No. It is. No. I watch it dubbed or you can watch it with subtitles, but I just watch it dubbed. What's your honest. favorite cooking show to watch? Nigella, anything Nigella. Nigella really? Lawson. See, I'm actually not big on cooking shows. Oh, I love, oh, I love a bake off. Oh, and Jamie. Bare, Barefoot Contessa? Oh, I love Barefoot her. Contessa. Oh What's my that? god. Obsessor. Oh my god. She's like she you all know her. She's got really short hair. She's got bob. She lives in the countryside. Very like Hamptons S. She just makes chicken for her husband and she just lives a nice little life. Yeah. 
so love her. No, you gotta look it up. Okay. Um, I've been watching really not the same vibe as anything you guys have said. Um, monsters. I oh, really yes. want to start that, but I'm thinking we need I need to get into the binged, mind frame to binge, start. Binge, binge, binge. I binged it. Have you finished it? Finished. It's I good. It's really good. It's like the acting. The guy, what's his name? Cooper. I don't know that. Who played real names. Eric? Oh, Eric. Yeah. And there's this one episode where oh, is the camera. It's uh, uh, episode five, or is it? Yeah. It's like twenty, like twenty five minutes, whatever yeah. it is. One take. Yeah. One <gasps> I take. love wow. when they Genuine, do that kind of the thing. The whole love every that. five minutes, I was like to Ryan, I was like, "This is one take." Yeah. This is one take, <laughs> and it's and it is so probably cool. the most intense scene I've ever How they did it, life. and then slowly the camera is it's getting further and further and further to and his also, face. Like, I don't want to spoil so it. Well but done. Just for those who don't know what Monsters is, first of all, it's about these two brothers. This is a true story. It comes from Ryan Murphy, who's done like American Horror mm-hmm. Story, The OJ Trial, yeah. all of these shows. And it's these two boys, two brothers who kill their parents. And it's basically following like all these other ones, the mm-hmm. trial, what happened. Mm-hmm. And obviously you learn a lot of what happened or maybe didn't happen. Yeah, I was going to say there's a lot of... There's a lot of question co- marks. Yeah. Interesting. I think he, as a director, is known to... Be controversial. Yeah. yeah. And also maybe dramatise certain situations, yeah. not the full truth. Yeah. So I think actually the brothers or Lyle or one of the brothers came out yeah. and was just like, this isn't really depicting yes. the truth. Okay. So I think you have some, to take it with a pinch of salt. But it's interesting because when I was reading after and like what people were saying about it, people basically saying like the parents should have come off as the monsters. Yeah. Like whereas the boys did when like you learn about everything. Yeah. I yeah, yeah. Um, but I actually felt the other the other way. So I, I think it's it, yeah, so it's how you sort of like mm. you view it. But I think that's quite interesting how different people view different, different things. Ways, but yeah. There's now going to be the documentary uh, good. of the actual brothers. Okay, great. I can't <laughs> yeah. wait. So that's going to be even more interesting, like the, the actual truth. I feel like Netflix is very smart because they've done this with quite a few shows. Yes. Like the How Staircase they know one. To so bring quick. the next yeah. version. They're, they're, they've, they've mm. they're all in cahoots with each Netflix, other, aren't they? Because they have to get like permission from the brothers to be like, we're going to do this. I don't know. Uh, they must not have, though, because they've obviously come out and said they yeah. not. But they must have known that they were doing it. Yeah, but, maybe. Because oh, yeah. maybe that's why they were like, he's going to get it wrong. I feel so like we they will, because I feel like surely they would maybe yeah, look maybe. at, not interview them, but like, surely if there's the opportunity to interview them yeah, about something that's wonder. about them, surely you would do that. Like, but if you my had the thing is like, why would the director not want to work with yeah. them to actually convey mm, yeah. their... I guess it's one of these things as well where like you or we or whoever will never actually because, know yeah. what happened. Because mm-hmm. we never yeah. will. And I don't know how I feel about stuff like that. Mm. Yeah, I like it to be. Tie up well, all the bows. I think it's one. There's there are a few shows where it's like it ends and you're like, oh, well, we're never gonna know. But this yeah. is like, you kind of are in one camp or the other. Yeah, fine, like, you kind fine, of make your decision for yourself. Right. Okay, wow. I mean, so obviously, it. what yeah. they did was absolutely horrendous, horrific. Yeah, yeah, the thing the is, is you know from the start they yeah, killed their parents, yeah, yeah. but it's like it's nuanced though. And then like, what you learn about their upbringing, and it's it's, yeah. it's a hard watch. Yeah, I, it, it was okay. quite. That's intense. what I thought. Okay. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Heavy. it's very it's heavy. It's heavy, mm. and they really don't shy away from anything. Okay. No. but if you're in a serious, yeah. yeah, it's yeah. it's a really great great which, acting. The, um, what the next monster series will be? Yeah, I wonder. Are there any products you guys are loving? Any fashion? This is my favourite bit because I get to know what everyone's loving. Yeah, mm. yeah it's so good. A couple of things. Firstly, my belt. But already cost per wear at Girl Math. So I've good. literally, yeah, I wear it so much. Love. Goes with everything. Absolutely love it. So that's in my fashion camp, things I'm loving. And then I'm also obsessed with my new electric toothbrush. <gasps> oh my god, yeah, which one? Suri. Oh, I've got oh. a Suri. And two people, when I went home to see my family, were like, your teeth are looking so really? white. And I like never had that comment they before. That was like the only thing that I've changed is that toothbrush. I love it. I'm obsessed yeah. with it. No, they're great. Yeah. They're great. How about you guys? I am loving jackets at the moment. It's out of control. I've tried to go on a spending ban this month and everyone is making it really so hard. hard. Um, I really love the Charlotte Simone mm. jackets, but obviously the fluff ones are gorgeous, but sometimes not everyone can wear them. Yeah. They've got one called the Frankie and it's like a leather jacket and it's like a more boxy fit and the fur is more like just the collar Ooh, nice. and that's really nice yeah. um and then i'm looking for next month will be my birthday <gasps> saw this really nice let me find the name of the brand because i hadn't actually heard of it before susa musa s-u-s-a-m-u-s-a okay and it's this sheer black dress um and it's like quite casual but because it's sheer and asymmetric i just thought very cute she's like cowboy boots it's very very and it's a quite a 
like you can definitely you need to wear like kind of thick pants and like a triangle yeah, yeah, bra but yeah. like you can see through it but it's done in a nice way on the model at least we can't wait to see that um, on your ig uh, yeah. yeah i hope so. well i literally just got the tab open there like contemplating <laughs> buying it and i'm now on the quarterly bandwagon <gasps> oh, girl the vino perfect, vino perfect. Yes. yes ran i also accidentally dropped it on my floor and i was quite close to crying. Oh. Um, and then new the, timing serum, the sorbet. That it's moisturizer. So good. Is so Which one good. do you use? Because you know there's three. There's okay, three pinks. the heavy, the darkest the dark. one at night, and okay. then the middle one in the day. Okay, cute. And then I've just, um, I've been using the uh, Reversitrol. Yeah, the, the face serum. serum. So good. So good. So, so good. Like, what does honestly. that do? It's like a facelift, like a plumping, yeah, like firming, <laughs> hydration. Just, okay, so like, for my nice. skin texture. Yeah, like my skin has never been better. Like. The combination serum, of the Vino really Pure Dark Spot Serum, like obsessed, and the, I can never say it properly, what's it? Re- Re- Resveratrol. Resveratrol. Reves- Resveratrol. The serum. Left. Yeah. So good. Great duo. So worth the money, oh, honestly. Yeah. So good. Yeah. Love. love. What about you guys? I'm loving, Sculpted by Amy has yeah. these little blush highlighter is that what I see on TikTok all the time? Possibly. Yeah. Very Lots of baby brand. pink, mm. um, but they have this blush um, kind of want it's like in a test tube kind of looking thing mm. and it's so good it's like a liquid cool. it's really really good it's like um, really sheer shiny mm. it's like hitting all the things you want your blush to do oh, and it's so easy to put on so I'm loving that for makeup love. also loving guys we had Bella Freud on the show oh, cool. on Tuesday which was really I cool and stuff. she's just launched a podcast Cool. Just launched podcast as of like two days ago. Really cool. First episode is with Rick Owens. Oh wow! So, sitting down, chatting all about like um, psychosis of style. So like, why you dress this way, or you know, what are you repelled by? What do you oh love? Everything is. I listened to it this morning. So what's really her niche gonna be? Her niche is kind of like a sitting down with designers with and people designers. who are often cool. kind of private, and it's like a therapist kind of setup. That's so she's cool. okay. sitting, and then like Rick Owens was lying down, Stop. and he was chatting about like his childhood. And, oh my god, I love it. You know, it. the way his dad was with him growing up and how he rebelled and, you know, always wanted to change the shape of his body mm. and through clothes. It was very interesting. Mm. I hadn't really heard Rick on speak much, so I was mm. really intrigued by <laughs> it. I was like, yeah. whoa. Yeah, I was really taken back. But it was really interesting. So I feel like that's going to be that's what I'm going to keep rep. watching. Yeah. Like, if yeah. that's the first guest, it's only going to get better and better. This is sounding better. like mm. I can yeah. watch it and not just. Do yes. you know who yes, I would love to see on that? Who? Mary. Mary Kate and Ashley. <gasps> Mary. 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 I was like, I was Mary. like, wait, Mary. I feel like I must Kate be missing out. Actually, that is such yeah. a good the show. Row. The, the row. row. Yeah. 100%. Icons. I mean, they've been, I've said this before, they've been icons when we were kids. Yeah. And, and they're, they're still our icons but they now. Do, but they don't do anything. No. No. I've no. not no. had either of them speak for a very long time. Oh, I love <laughs> them. Someone check on Mary Kate and Ashley. Yeah. <laughs> they are, oh, which is your favourite Mary Kate and Ashley movie from? Oh, I thought you were going to say which is your favourite between them. I was like, I honestly still don't know. Yeah, same. No. no. Huh? Well, Mary Kate's my girl. I don't really know. Which oh, one's Mary Kate? Come on. Mary? No, I don't no. know. Ashley's I I Blonder. But now? I don't know. Uh, no, I can tell in part. Really? Okay. Yeah, I'm an OG. I'm going to test, test you a bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm so sorry. You know who I really just feel like I need to know where they are? Ali and AJ. <laughs> I must. I saw a TikTok about are. them very like recently. That's crazy. Wow. Well, well, I think they you do. Do, do you not remember this song? Except for the fact it was my birthday. My super birthday. Have I like been No. Okay, skip to the chorus. Wait, what is it? Oh, God. This is the potential breakup song. No. Am I right? Really? Are you okay? I'm going to reshrink. Like, so Disney. She's TikTokers. No. Disney girls. Disney girls. I didn't even know they were Disney girls. I just remember this song, to be honest. I was like the era of, like, That's a Raven. Well, they were as well. Just for the same era. Yeah. The same age. We're all in the same age. We are the same era. You know what, you can so get into it now and you'll be like, oh, kind yeah, of vibe. Yeah, 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 really good. But embarrassing, sorry guys. Okay, don't worry about it. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much. Thanks for, for having us. Always good to chit chat and we'll see you guys very soon. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.